Can I show those of you that are parents here today? No Sunday school can help you take care of your children. Your child is like a plain sheet of paper. You write what you like. Your mother cannot help you write. Your pastor cannot help you write. The teachers in school cannot help you write. It is your responsibility to write. Sometimes when your kid says, I don't want to go to school, I don't want to go to school. Stop beating that child. Listen to the child. Who knows? One lady said to me, she noticed that her five-year-old daughter was itching in her private parts. So she took her to the doctor. You won't believe this. She got the rudest shock of her life. The driver that takes her to school every day while driving puts his finger in that girl's private parts. And messed that girl's destiny. And some of you are so busy. Your child is even saying, I don't want to go to school. You won't even listen. You go and carry this, carry that. I'm going to beat you. You this, you that. Children have feelings. Can you please listen? Maybe there is a bully in school. Maybe there is something going on. Can you listen to that child? When our kids were young, I put my career on hold. And I did not take invitations to preach. I knew I was anointed. I knew God had a purpose for me. But I chose. I did not have one house help in my life when I was raising my kids. That may not be applicable now. My last one is 28. That may not be applicable now. I understand. But please, please, mothers, wake up. A lot is going on. And parents are singing in the choir. Parents are preaching and winning everywhere. One great man of God, I heard Billy Graham, that one day he was interviewed and he was asked, what is your great test regrets. He said when I was a young evangelist I thought I could win the whole world. Now I am old and the whole world is not one. I wish I had spent more time with my family. Some of you fathers you are winning everywhere. Winning in your career. Winning, winning, winning everywhere. But you are nowhere. I'm going to tell you four kinds of parents that we have in our world very shortly. Let me just be done with this scripture. We need to wake up. It's high time we started listening to our children. Policies. Some of you don't, you've never seen. Men, you've never helped your children with take-home assignments. Go to your mommy, go to your mommy, go to your mommy. So even detect that they are teaching them rubbish. That a particular course is now compulsory in school. You are not even aware. When our kids were young, Thursday evening was our family night. My husband went nowhere. I went nowhere. That was the time our children would sit with us and ask us any question. Any. From sex to virginity to this to that. We didn't share the Bible on Thursday evenings. And we're born again. Some of you, you are lost in the book of Habakkuk. And your children have been destroyed. Because you just want to preach. That's also why I started in my opening remark. If your Christianity does not work at home, don't bother to export it. Do not bother to export it. We've had enough of preachers. Let's begin to leave the Bible way.